Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter, and boy do I have something cool for you. Check this out. This thing is the perfect complement to the foam mate. Because after you make your wall panels, after you make your aircrete bricks, you can just spray on this beautiful coating and just trial it smooth. Melanie was there with me the whole time we stuccoed this building. So what she said about this thing the first time she saw it work is very telling. That was awesome. I call it the stucco mate. And you know what? The great thing about this one, guys, is it works with almost any compressor. It works with a small, small compressor. When I originally put the first base coat of stucco on the Aircrete shed, I did it like this. One trial at a time, over and over and over, and it took forever. When I was putting the co final coating on our Aircrete shed and putting it over the reinforcement mesh, the fiberglass mesh, um, my good friend Steve, lent me a, uh, a stucco applicator that worked with air. And what I found, guys, was A, they're expensive between 250 and 360 bucks or something. And on top of that, you need an air compressor that's a minimum 7 CFM if it has a big compression tank. And if it doesn't, it needs between a 12 and a 19 CFM compressor huge and it it just would not work we had to abandon it and do it mostly by hand because it just would not work with uh, the air compressor that we had I there are other stucco applicators out there that you can get they just take huge compressors to operate them and this is going to be such a time saver I'm really excited about it okay guys I have this whole thing drawn up and I am going to have a complete video detailing every step of the way of DIY building one of these for yourself. This project does require some specialty tools like taps and some dies and some different specialty drill bits like a Forstner bit. If you have absolutely no tools whatsoever you may be better off just going to my Etsy store and ordering one and I could just make it for you and send it out Can you just like open that with your bare hands? I just, I just didn't want to make people feel bad. <laughs> you know I can open the pickle jar on the first try. Right. Every time. I am going to have a full detailed parts list uh, where you can buy them and for how much. And so you guys get, I'm going to do a complete video on that so that you guys can get an idea of what it would cost for you guys to build one of these for yourself and how much time it would take you and then you can determine whether or not you just want to go on and uh, have me build one for you and send it out and so uh, anyways here you go there's a few bloopers in this and whatnot but I am gonna do a complete one where I explain every step of the way so that you guys understand what it takes to actually get one of these built. The PDFs and the units won't be available on my Etsy store until the afternoon of the 28th or maybe the morning of the 29th. Um, that being said, there is about $35, $37 worth of materials and it takes a couple hours to make one. So they're probably going to be priced somewhere in the $75 to $90 range. And it may I want to do a free shipping on them. So it may be a little more if I d depending on what I figure out for the uh, shipping costs and whatnot. But for sure, I want to try and keep them under a hundred dollars. Now, I actually am going to have two models of these. One of the models is going to have a little bit larger of an air jet in it, and a little bit larger uh, cone that it goes into, and so it can do it just a little bit faster. Now, I made that other model, 
and it's not showcased in this video and that's why I need to do the complete video but I have a lot of footage of it and a footage of me using it and whatnot and so that other model is gonna have a little bit bigger jet in it and it's going to be for people who have an air compressor that's at least three and a half to four CFM and can put out that much air but this particular one you can have a really small air compressor and it'll work just fine if you are interested in building one of these for yourselves or maybe getting one um, you can go ahead and watch the rest of this video and we're I'm just gonna take you through the complete build of it and by the time you're done you'll have a pretty good idea of what it takes uh, to build at least this particular model that I have on here so I hope you guys enjoy it um, as we go toward the end of the video you're gonna see me using it and I had this brain haired idea to use a clear uh, cylinder and it didn't work it failed <laughs> but anyways enjoy why are you putting a second layer in a pipe because I want it to be super strong because I'm gonna drill and tap so I can put an air jet perfectly aligned right here shooting out that way and I'm gonna drill and tap this and when I screw into it I want there to be a lot of meat there for the threads to catch This one I made, the bushing, and I just took and drilled it out mm -hmm. and then tapped it both ways. This one's so short, you can only get so many threads going both directions. And I'm hoping... I have to go deeper with it. the threads. I do. Put a socket on the end of this and put an extension on so that I can get all the way through there from in here to get that. Baby? Can you just go from the other end? No. Why not? Because it's a tapered thread. The thread starts big at the bottom and gets smaller as it goes up. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to watch it? So we're going to have to get a smaller socket and an extension to get this started and screw it in there. And I'm going to have to hold it like that while I put it in the socket. Okay. okay. 
So I'm gonna have to put this in there, put it down until I can get this extension on it. There we go. And then, and then look, I can get it started into the threads. Easy peasy. You see how that's getting about flush? It's not quite. I want to get it all the way flush. And this should stick out the back just like a half a thread. Yeah, that's exactly where I want it. Now, babe. Oh, I could go a little deeper with it, couldn't I? Now I gotta get that off and bye bye um, the air nozzle <laughs> and look at it. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You got that? Now, I'm, I'm wondering if I should try and shape this with heat for the nozzle, for the spray nozzle, or say, don't you already have one of those? Don't you already have one of those? One of these? Mm -hmm. I just made this. Nobody has one. But yeah, I have one, a, a sprayer for applying stucco. And this is what it looks like. So you do have one of those. I do. And it's heavy. And every time you get done with it, you have to run over and scoop it full. It has four nozzles. And you have to have an air compressor as big as the blue banana to run it. It, it requires a huge air compressor. What's a blue banana? I don't know, but it's big. But look at that in there. But this costs 400 bucks. And you have to have a huge air compressor to run it, which costs at least a thousand bucks. So I'm just trying to make money saving, time saving gadgets available to everybody who wants to do them for DIY. Because most people who are doing DIY don't have a huge air compressor. But they'd still like to do it as fast and efficiently as they can. Okay. Let's uh, go see if this thing works, babe. Oh, wait. Look. I have this. Are you still filming? Mm hmm Okay. So I'm going to take this. 
one of these, put it there. I'm going to drill a hole in this. That way, you can have your helper, you can have two of these, and they can run and scoop it full and bring it over to you while you're spraying it, and they can take the other one, go scoop it full, and just keep rotating them. And then when they come over and it's full, you just stick this on it, turn it upside down, and... I have an idea, babe. Yeah? Yeah. Instead of using this right off the bat, I'm gonna use this so that people can see how it draws down. This wouldn't be good for long term, but because it's so light. But I think it would be cool. Gonna, this panel that we made at the last university. Yeah. I'll just peel it. How strong these are. <laughs> so this is how I did the whole air creek shop. It's just like this. You remember that babe? I do. It's a moment of truth. Whoa. Oh. This holds like 15 pounds of, of stuff. The actual, the actual one I have is gonna work way better than this. So there's a moment of truth. Does it work? I remember when you did it for the spraying on, it was a little bit thinner than that. I mean, I'm still a little cold, but I'm way better. You ready? This is like six square feet. Right there. I'm gonna go get one of the actual tubes. I think it'll work better than that. I just thought that would be cool so you could see through it, but you couldn't end up seeing through it anyway. I've got to grind that at a bevel. So that it fits in here real easy. I was thinking, I wonder if we should glue one that's half the size just on there because it keeps coming out. The weight makes it come out. But if it gets a good seal, I guess, that we could try that. And then just do it like the other one and just fill it up. That's what I was thinking. Just take it over and scoop it full and then That was awesome, yeah. 
I guess we could just glue that one on and it would have one that size. I think for most people that'd be too heavy. I think th I think it needs to be like half. Yeah, maybe maybe. Yeah. Sometimes I just enjoy watching and I forget I'm supposed to record. Right. Can you blame me? No. A lot of people enjoy watching me. Apparently. It's all dry on this side. Thank you, baby. You ready? Yep. If you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Be sure and click the bell at the bottom to get notifications. And I will see you later. Get out of here. That's my thumbs up.